During his speech at CPAC this past weekend, Donald Trump predictably brought up the fact that he still feels like he won the 2020 presidential election. Uh, he talked about all of this non-existent fraud that in his brain totally exists. In reality, it's not there. And these claims absolutely infuriated Republican lawmakers in this country, because here's what happened prior to Donald Trump going on stage, probably a few days before he went on stage. You had Republican lawmakers, including Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, who has become one of the most loyal Trump lapdogs in this country, rivaling even that of Matt Gates. But Lindsey Graham spoke to him and said that would be a huge mistake. So Trump had these lawmakers, again, including Lindsey Graham, meet with him, talk about what he should talk about. And they all said, please don't bring up this election stuff. We kind of have to move past this, right? And I'll get to why they have to move past it very shortly. But Trump didn't listen because he never listens because in Trump's mind, he is always the smartest guy in the room, no matter which room he is in or who is in that room with him. Nobody can tell him what to do. Nobody knows better than him. So he gets up on that stage. He makes these idiotic statements. And now Republican lawmakers are panicking because they're the ones that have to deal with the fallout. And I'm not talking about the fallout with the American public. No, a majority of Republicans actually agree with this crap. They actually do think there was some kind of shenanigans taking place with that election. No, I'm talking about the fallout of going back to Congress and having to, uh, you know, work with these individuals. Cause every time these Republicans go out there and they listen to Donald Trump, make these claims, do you know what it does on the other side, on the democratic side? Oh, it pisses them off something fierce. And they take that anger with them back to the halls of Congress where they have all the power. And you see when they get mad, that's when Democrats are actually at their best. That's when they're really doing things that could benefit the American public, not necessarily because they, they want to help the public, but to spite Republicans and Republicans understand that. So now they know, oh crap, I got to go back here. I got to run damage control so that the Democrats don't try to run roughshod over us, abolish the filibuster or anything like that, because they're mad that this guy is still out there spreading these election lies. And to be honest, I hope the Democrats seize on this opportunity. I hope for once they finally recognize and they see the writing on the wall that Donald Trump is not ever going to change. And these Republicans are also not ever going to change. No matter how many times these people, these Republicans go on Fox news and finally admit that, oh yeah, I mean, the election wasn't stolen. Rick Scott did it before CPAC and he actually voted to overturn the results. So it doesn't matter how many times you do that. If you let this slide and you still stand behind the man who says these things, you're going to be punished for it as you should. So Democrats take note. They may have tried behind the scenes to tell Trump, oh, please don't say this. It's going to create hell for us. But he did. And they didn't do anything about it. They're okay with him saying these things, or at least they're too cowardly to stand up to him. So you be the tough party. Now you be the headstrong party that wants to punish these individuals because by punishing them, you're actually going to be helping the American public. So it's a win-win for you. If you seize on this opportunity.